How do you raise a raisin? By Pam Millard Ryan. Illustrated by Craig Brown. Genre. This expository text asks questions using rhythm and rhyme. How do you raise a raisin? Tell me so I'll know. They're such peculiar little things. How do they sprout and grow? Do raisins grow on Earth or other planets far away? Do aliens collect them and space shuttle them on our way? Raisins are dried grapes. So far, there is no proof that raisins grow on other planets. Raisins are grown on Earth in countries like Turkey, Iran, Greece, Australia, and the United States. So who discovered raisins? Were they here when Earth began? Who was the first to nibble them? Dinosaur or man? Raisins were probably discovered when someone or something tasted grapes that had dried on the vine. Over the years, peoples and animals figured out which grapes produced the sweetest, yummiest raisins. Do raisins grow in one place? like Raisin Creek or Raisin Hill? Is there a special town called Raisin Field or Raisinville? Raisins grow best in areas with nice dirt. Many days of hot weather, a dry climate and plenty of water. Almost all of the raisins in the United States are grown in the San Joaquin Valley of California, near towns like Chowchilla, Dinuba, Kingsburg, Selma, Weed Patch, and even Raisin City. About 90% of the raisins sold in the United States come from the area around Fresno, California. Do farmers plant some seeds from the local gardener shop? and wait for raisin bushes to produce a raisin crop. Farmers start a new crop of raisins by taking cuttings from an older grapevine. These pieces of stem are planted in the sand until they sprout. Then they are planted in the fields next to a wooden stake. Notice how the grapevines and the sprawling branches grow, does a grapevine tamer train them into picture-perfect rows? Grapevines are grown about eight feet apart. Field workers hand tie the sturdy branches or canes to rows of wires. There are usually two sets of wire, a top set that is about six feet high and a second wire that is three or four feet high. How long do raisins take to grow? A week, a month or a year? How many hours must you wait for a raisin to appear? It takes at least three years until the vines are old enough for the first crop of raisins. That's 26,280 hours. When grapes are ripe and ready, how do farmers get them down? Do they rent a burly giant to shake them to the ground? When grapes are ready, skilled grape pickers snag the grape clusters from the vines using a sharp vine cutter. 
Most grapes are turned into raisins the same way they've been for thousands of years. They are left to dry naturally in the sun. What do raisins lie on while they're basking in the sun? Do they rest on little beach towels until they're dried and done? The grape clusters are laid on brown paper trays on the ground between the grapevine rows. This is called laying the grapes down. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Most raisin growers plant their vineyards in east to west rows. This way, grapes drying between the rows receive the most sun. If they were drying in north to th south rows, the groups would be in the shade part of th the day. And when it comes to raising raisins, the more sun, the better. How long do clusters lie around to sweeten, dry and bake? How many weeks in the valley heat does raising making take? Raisins bake in the sun for about two to three weeks. Then the paper trays are rolled into bundles that they look like burritos and are left in the field for a few more days to make sure that all the raisins are as dry. Raisins do not look like grapes. They're withered up and wrinkled. Are they soaked inside a bathtub until their skin is crinkled? As grapes bake in the hot sun, their water evaporates. The more water they lose, the more the grapes shrivel, causing wrinkles. How many grapes must a farmer dry upon the valley ground? to make a box of raisins that weigh about a pound. It takes about four and one half pounds of fresh grapes to make one pound of raisins. How do the raisins get from fields to the raisin factory door? Does a vacuum cleaner suck them up from the dusty valley floor? Farm workers toss the raisin bundles into a wooden trailer. The raisins are sent across a shaker that gets rid of the dirt and rocks. Then raisins are taken to the factory and stored in big boxes called bins until they are ready to be packed. Who puts raisins in the boxes that keep them sweet and dry? Do tiny fairy princesses stuff each one inside? When they're needed, raisin bins are brought into the factory for packaging. It takes only 10 minutes from bin to package. Workers and machines take off the stems and cap stems, sort and wash the raisins. Then the raisins are packaged in a variety of boxes and bags. Over the years, raising raisins flourished, but raisin seeds were a problem. When seeds were removed, the raisins became a sticky, clumpy mess. Bakers and people who like to eat raisins found this troublesome. They hoped for a seedless grape that would produce a yummy raisin. In 1876, William Thompson introduced the Lady de Coverley grape to California.
The green grapes were seedless, with thin skins, and produced a sweet and flavorful raisin. These grapes changed the raisin producing industry forever and are still known today as Thompson Seedless Grape. Today, 95% of the California raisin crop is Thompson Seedless Grape. What's so great about raisins anyway? They're nutritious. Raisins are rich in iron, calcium, potassium, and B vitamins, and provide a good source of fiber. They make other foods taste better. Raisins have a tartaric acid, a flavor enhancer. Raisin juice and raisin paste are used in a variety of sources such as pasta, barbecue, and steak sauces to boost the flavor. Raisin paste is sometimes used as filler in meatballs and meat pies to provide more servings. Raisins have a rich natural color. Raisin juice is often added to frozen dairy desserts and baked goods as a color enhancer or food coloring. Ground raisins can be used instead of fat in fat-free baked goods like fat-free muffins, cookies, and brownies. Raisin paste and raisin juice concentrate are mold inhibitors that prevent food from spoiling as easily. Bakers often use raisin products instead of artificial preservatives. Raisins extend the shelf life of bakery goods by several days over products without raisin products. Follow these steps. Ants on a log. Spread celery, pieces with peanut, butter cream cheese or cheese spread, top with raisins, rats on a raft. Spread cream cheese on, uh, on graham crackers, dot raisins on top. Super Bowls, one cup honey, one and a half cups powdered milk, one cup peanut butter, one and a half cups graham cracker crumbs, one cup of raisins, three and a quarter cup crushed cornflakes or dried coconut. Put crushed cornflakes or coconut in a dish in a mixing bowl. Mix all other ingredients, shape into balls, roll balls in crushed cornflakes or coconut. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please click like. If you have any stories you would like me to add to my channel, please leave a comment below. Please subscribe to my channel.